Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood against Cambridge. Big game this, Cambridge are a very, very good side, well organised, well drilled, you know, they're very good at home, but very good away from home as well. The last time we did visit Cambridge, we did draw 2-2, two, two. James Hill and Paddy Lane scored that day, Hill's obviously gone to Bournemouth and, you know, Paddy Lane's an absolute star, it was unbelievable on Tuesday, this is a huge game, we have got some bodies back, we brought Josh Harrop in on low from Preston, a smart signing, I think he'll start on the left today, if I'm honest with you, laid on the right, Harrison through the middle. Again, we have to win. Again, I'm not, under no illusions how tough today's going to be. But if we can get that win, we go to 32 points. Probably needing 20 points from our last 19 games of the season. With only having eight home games left as well. So let's try and get a win today. I think we'll get a draw. I think it'll be very tough. I think it's going to be nil-nil or 1-1. One -one. Go on the cards. So it's 12 o'clock. Again, just arrived in Fleetwood. Again, all the pre-match rituals and stuff like that. The other night was superb. To come back from 3-1 down to get to 3-3 shows the character of the squad. I think it's harsh to say that we didn't have that under Grayson. But I don't think we would have got that back under Grayson this time. I think Craney's man management, I think he can motivate really well. I've been impressed with him so far. Again, Geordie, you're not a bad luck champ. She'll be absolutely buzzing that she's got a, got a mention. The best barmaid in the Football League. She's paid me to say that. But again, huge game. Need to get a win. Um, it's good, a tough side came, which is so hard to play against. And they've surprised a few again. A lot with tipping them for the bottom four. And Mark Bonner, you know, Joe Einside, who's apparently out today. Hopefully he is. He's a superb striker at this level. Doddy, how are we doing, mate? A big game today. Josh Harrop, hopefully starting. How do you think we're going to do? Unreal limbs the other day. And by the way, Steve Woodhouse, who we saw last week, Swap this man for the drums at 3-1, and we got it back to 3-3. Was that a lucky charm, or I just fleet with just magic? Tactical masterclass from Woodhouse. Uh, a bit better than Grayson ever did, by the way, but yeah, we won't go there. Bigger impact on the team. Uh, big game, yeah, like you said. 2-2 uh, last time. Paddy Lane screamed the last minute, hoping the same, but making it a winner instead. 2-1 uh, fleet when I'm going. So Paddy Lane scoring one, who's your other goal scorer? Josh Howard on his debut. And who's... And are we staying up? Because this is a big game. We've got eight home games after this and ten away. Some tough games coming up. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, yeah. It looks to me to be 3-4-3. Three, three. Johnson, Clark, Jules, and on the left wing back. Morris right wing back, possibly. Batty and Camps in the midfield. It could be Harrop to make a 3-5-2. But I think he'll be on the left-hand side. Lane could be on the right. Harrison up front. It'll even be 3-4-3. Three, three. It could be 4-4-2, four, four, never mind Craney. always switches it up a bit more like Grayson. So hard to predict, but again, I think 3-4-3 three, three is possibly the best formation with that bunch of players. Big game this. Fair play to the 150, 200 Cambridge fans that have travelled down. A big commitment. Well, we've just signed Josh Harrop. Two days ago, on loads to the end of the season, we're two minutes in and it looks like he's pulled his hamstring. How did this could happen to this football club? Well, he's coming off. We've got Garner out injured, we've got Lowe's out injured, Rossiter out injured. Harry Boo looks a decent signing on loads for Preston. Could be out for a long while with that one. Johnson's coming out, probably be left winger. Unreal. Again, I think uh, Gillingham are losing 2 0. Shock. Again, it just makes these games more important. Again, we're only two points above the drop. The game in hand that we've got on some teams against Sunderland and Wigan, which we're not expecting to get points off. It does look to be 4 3 3, not the 3 4 3. I suggest to be 4 Lane is in midfield. See, one thing with Craney I don't understand. Paddy Lane's not a midfielder. Again, he's very creative. I do think he's better out on the left. 
The game is a real battle at the moment. Six weeks ago, even four weeks ago, we agree with the losses. We've not caved in just yet. Again, we've just got to overcome these games if we want to stay up this year. this year there's no real quality there the second half needs to be much better the tempo needs to increase if we've got to get anything out this side it doesn't seem to be nil nil a point will be bad but we can do with three points have a real go at these Do it! 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 Do it!
Okay. 